Hey, it's Raleigh from Kamui, and I am your average pool player. This is a video series where I take shots that professionals do on the first try in major tournaments, and I see how many tries it takes me to complete them, and also what I learn along the way, and I try to reason out what I'm doing wrong. This shot is insane. It's Corey Duell in the 2004 US Open, which was actually on ESPN. Corey had to make the four ball and get back down to shoot the five ball in one of the corners. Not only does he make the four, but he hits the cue ball so hard and with so much backspin that it pulls itself all the way back down the table and sets him up perfectly for the orange five. I always thought this shot looked incredible, and as it turns out, it's crazy hard for an average player to do, so let's get right into it. I know I'm trying to hit a lot of backspin or draw, so I crank back and miss the shot completely. Since I missed the first one to the left, I'll try to correct and I miss to the right. I should have this dialed in, nope. My fourth attempt, I make the shot. The same with my fifth, so I'm building. But look how I'm not getting any backwards momentum on the cue ball, which is the actual hard thing about this shot. Keep in mind, Corey did this perfectly on the first attempt and I'm five shots deep, make that six shots deep, seven shots deep, okay, got that one. My first thought is that I'm just not hitting it hard enough. So I load up and, nope, I said I load up and... So I finally make number 12 and I learn two things. Number one, the harder I hit the ball, the worse my control gets. And number two, even though I'm really trying to blast it, I'm still not getting a lot of action on the cue ball. Corey is aiming really low on the cue ball, which puts so much backspin that it's still spinning backwards when it hits the four ball, so when it tracks towards the side rail, the backspin helps it get down table. I try to add even more backspin to the ball, and I miss it. But my 14th attempt also misses. But my 15th attempt makes it. But even that doesn't seem to work. So I aim even lower on the cue ball and make it, but the cue ball still doesn't have the backspin I'm hoping for. So I try aiming even lower and really blast it and barely anything. So if I think I'm hitting as low as I can and blasting it, it dawned on me that the same control issue I'm having on pocketing the four ball might be happening during the actual aiming phase. I test my theory on shot 18 by intentionally aiming well below the cue ball and... Whoa! Breakthrough. I made the shot, but more importantly, what I thought was a low aim was actually much higher up on the ball than I thought. On shot 19, I literally take aim at the table in front of the cue ball and it still makes contact with the actual cue ball first. So it's clear I need to take some speed off to focus on hitting way low on the cue ball. I focus on a slower shot and just putting a ton of backspin, like way more backspin than I think I can. And it works shockingly well. The cue ball is starting to bend back over the line. On shot 21, I miss spectacularly, but you can't win for losing. So shot 22, I take really careful aim with what I think is an alarming amount of backspin and yes, I mean, it's a scratch, but the name of that scratch is progress. Now, Corey Duell makes this shot on the first try, and I am 22 shots in and congratulating myself over a scratch. If nothing else, I'm gaining an all new level of respect for professional players. But after making it, missing it, missing it, and making it again, I seem to be plateauing on this shot. So I went back to the original Corey shot to see if he puts any kind of side or anything to complement the backspin. And although it looks like he's maybe putting right spin where he's queuing up, an inspection of the ball at the end of the shot reveals left spin. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. He's using backspin to get the cue ball to come off the four ball into the side rail, and he's using left spin and backspin to pull the cue ball down the table perfectly on the first try. Okay, here we go, number 27. Miss, 28, come on, backspin and side spin. Yeah, that's progress, it's getting there. Lucky number 29, no. Lucky number 30, no. Lucky number 31, hey, that's closer. Let's not talk about 32 or 33 because 34 is looking good. Aiming really low, tons of less spin. Come on, balls in, it's looking good. And success. You know what, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna call it right there. It took me 34 tries to do what Corey Duell did on his first attempt. So I learned three things. Number one, the more speed, the less accurate my pocketing. Number two, the more speed, the less accurate the point of contact on the cue ball. And number three, pool is really hard. That's it, thanks for watching, and thank you to Society Billiards for letting me film in their wonderful pool hall. If you have any comments or questions or critiques or criticisms or anything, go ahead and leave them below, and I'll try to respond to them as best I can. Uh, thanks, and join us next time.